You've done your good deed. You donated blood, and you're feeling great about saving lives. But how exactly does your blood get to the patients who need it? Good question. Here's what happens. During your medical screening, you are assigned a donation number in Vitalant's computer system. Your donation is labeled with this number and placed in a transport container with ice until it can be taken to a processing center. By the time your donation reaches the processing center, your donation information has already been electronically transmitted. This is how we keep track of your donation. Whole blood, the typical donation, is spun in centrifuges. These centrifuges separate the blood into its transfusable parts. Once they have gone through processing, the parts of your blood donation officially become individual units. Each unit is stored in the appropriate conditions. Red blood cells in the refrigerator, plasma in the freezer, and platelets at room temperature. Platelets are placed in incubators where they are constantly agitated so clumps do not form. In the meantime, the little tubes of blood that we took when you donated were sent to a lab. There, your blood is tested for blood type and more than a dozen infectious diseases. If your blood tests positive for an infectious disease, your donation will be discarded and you will be notified. Test results are sent electronically to the processing center. When we get the test results, Vitalant labels the units with the product name, donation number, and blood type. At the hospitals, doctors determine what kind of transfusion a patient needs. Your red blood cells may help someone having surgery. The platelets will likely give strength to a cancer patient undergoing chemotherapy. Your plasma will help patients with serious burns or severe blood loss. Thanks to your generous act of blood donation, you have helped save lives. Make your next life-saving appointment today at vitalent.org.